What do you guys know about the crossover? Well, we know it's Barry and Iris's wedding. That's true. Um, we know some villains show up from mm -hmm. Earth X. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's bigger than ever. Yeah, I mean, what they, <laughs> what, I, what I can, what I, what, what I, what I can tell you, what I can tell you about this year is, is, you know, the order of the episodes, as in Supergirl, Arrow, Flash, Legends. That doesn't mean shit. You can't tell <laughs> what episode is what episode. Right, like the first episode, it, it, it centers on everyone coming together in episode one for Barry and Iris's wedding. So you're collecting everyone from, from all over the place. And then it's really effectively their story throughout the first hour, which you know, would indicate that it's like, it's a Flash episode, except it's not. I think it's weird. I have, I would wager to guess that I have the most screen time in all four episodes of the crossover. So that's been something. And um, yeah, I mean, we, not, not, to get too inside, not to get too inside baseball here, but it, they, they have made it bigger than ever. I mean, when we conceived of the crossovers back in season three of Arrow and, and season one of Flash, it was like, okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna shoot on the Flash for four days. Fine. The crossovers this year took up six full weeks of shooting. Um, and I think that in order for us to continue down this path, um, you know, we as productions and the CW as the network and Warner Brothers at the studio are going to have to fundamentally like reconceive how we execute these because this was, this sort of broke the schedule mold. I mean, it just, it just simply didn't fit. It wasn't that it was like 14 hour days every day. It was just, it was a very long day. You know, furthermore, I think that if we're going to shoot it like a big four-hour movie, we have to board it like a big four-hour movie, and we have to prioritize the schedules of the people that are going to be working the most. Um, you know, if that's me, if that's Melissa, if that's Katie Lotz, if that's Grant, like it could—it's going to change year over year based off of based off of the story. But um, you know, the, the payoff is that you know I've seen one cut of one episode, and it's just. I mean, it's just, a, it's like a four hour escape because it takes you, I mean, there are some through line storylines like Oliver and Felicity's relationship and Barry and Iris's relationship and, you know, <clears throat> what's going on with, what's going on with Sarah and um, there are through lines there. What's going on with, with, uh, with Victor and Franz? Um, but it, yeah, it, it really is for the first time. Like, a, it's, a, it's an event. It's not a crossover anymore. Like, you can call it the crossover if you want, but... It's kind of like calling the, like the Super Bowl just a football game, right? Like, it, yeah, sure, they play football, but there's so much other stuff that goes on with it. It's an event. Were there Does it, any pairings or um, different show characters that interacted, whether you're including you or others, that you think was really special? Yeah. In the crossover. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really enjoy Oliver and Cara stuff, but not in the way that you might think. In Does what it? way? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't tell you. You'll, you'll know it when you see it, though. Different costumes, maybe, or something like that? <laughs> just, 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 just in general, it's, it's like I got a chance to, to do some... Much in the same way that last year during the crossover, we had our 100th episode, and we put, us our, we put ourselves in this alternate reality, and you know, we got to have these exchanges that you, know, you, you really shouldn't be able to have. Um, we get to do that in, in the crossover, which is great. Which is what you're supposed to do, right? Like, you're supposed to think, okay, within the context of a story that people are going to enjoy and that makes sense, what people do fans want to see interact with one another? You know, and that's a long list, but I, I feel like we got to, got to execute it, you know, this year more than ever. Does it really mess with Oliver's head to see somebody in that Prometheus suit again after everything he just went through? Yeah. It's, it's, it's that that's that's a weird thing that that you know the I think that the I think the the payoff there I think the payoff there for that is is really was really worth it and led to one of my certainly one of my favorite scenes of the uh, favorite scenes of the entire season.